Here's some tips and tricks for your Texas Instruments graphing calculator to save time and avoid mistakes. Now, let's take it to the test. I'm going to show you fast, simple, and accurate ways to locate points of intersection on graphs. Let's find the intersection of the graphs of y equals 2x minus 3 and y equals negative 3x plus 7. Press y equals and then enter the two equations. Enter the first expression, y equals 2x minus 3. Arrow down to get to the second entry line. Enter the second expression, negative 3, x plus 7, and enter. Press the graph key, and your screen should look like this. Now, find the intersection by pressing second, calc, it's the blue command over the trace key, then arrow down to select intersect, and press enter. Use the up and down arrow keys and enter to select the two graphs that intersect. Now, move the cursor to where the two graphs appear to intersect. Hit enter. The calculator will determine the point of intersection. The graphs intersect at the point 2, 1. Let's look at another example. Where does y equals 4x minus 1 intersect with y equals 2 fifths x minus 1. I'm going to go through it quickly, so get ready. The rest is just like before. And there you have it. Those lines intersect at x equals 0 and y equals negative 1. Let's do one more. This involves a quadratic equation. The steps are basically the same, so I'm going to go through it without stopping. Enter the first equation and enter the quadratic. Select the graphs. Note, these intersect in two places, so you'll have to move the cursor close to one intersection and then follow the steps again to find the other intersection. The curves intersect at negative 3, 6, and 4, 6. Great job. Now you know a couple of tips and tricks to help you find points of intersection. The Tips and Tricks document has all this and more. Download it now and use it to practice for the test. Be sure to check out the rest of the Tips and Tricks for test success videos. And hey, good luck on that exam.